Hey folks, Scott Kelby here, and here's why I think the previous button is one of the most powerful, most awesome buttons in all of Lightroom. So we'll take a look at the image we have here, and let's kind of go give it a quick fix here. The whole thing looks like it's a little overexposed. It looks like it's clipping a little in the highlights. It looks like you could use a little more contrast or Rooney. And it also looks a little cold. I want to warm it up a little bit so the skin looks a little, little better. And uh, that'll probably maybe, maybe just open the shadows of hair. And we'll put a very, the slightest little edge vignette just around the edges. Just a little bit of darkening all the way around. Just a slight bit, not nothing too obvious. Okay, so I think that certainly probably looks better. <laughs> There's some hedging my bet, certainly, probably. Okay, so if you see another photo, it's like, like you see, okay, this one looks pretty good here right well we'd be starting from scratch and, and doing all doing it all again that's where the previous button comes in i already fixed a photo i want this to look like the previous one so all i do is click previous and it gets the exact same thing applied there so i can look around if i see another shot i like maybe that last one hit previous it's going to get the same toning i move her over here let's see what else i see that looks pretty good but it needs previous so that's it it's just a one click way for you to get the uh, look that you just applied to a different photo instead of maybe uh, using auto sync where you're going to get a whole bunch of contiguous ones and change them all at one time. Sometimes this works so much better. I use this literally just about every single day. It's that handy. And uh, I hope you guys found it helpful.